I know you don't feed the trolls, but what happens if you feed a troll love? Something happened a few days ago, and I really wanted to talk about it. And what happened was somebody trolled my My Rush Choice YouTube page, which is very rare, it doesn't happen very often. And I had taken a screenshot and shared it. And I found it really interesting, our, as a society, our reactions to this. This idea, I kept hearing over and over again, is this person doesn't matter. They're a loser. You know, screw them. You know, you're better than them. Nope, feed the trolls. I love that one. But I think, just like cancer, when we don't talk about a problem, when we don't deal with a problem, it gets worse and it becomes more pervasive. And that's the entire reason that I started My Breast Choice was so that we could talk about a problem that was not being discussed and we could look at it from a different point of view. And I want to talk about trolls from a different point of view. And I don't see trolls as some little monster living under a bridge. Trolls, it's more fishing. They're fishing for attention. And the question has to become why? Why are they fishing for attention? And I know the reason that I post things is because I want to feel heard. I want to share my experience. Um, there is, it feels good to get attention be honest and these people are doing the same thing but I do not think that I am better than a troll so or somebody who is trolling and I don't think they're better than I am either I think we are all human beings and I would love to come at this from love like what happens I know you don't feed the trolls but what happens if you feed a troll love these are people's brothers and sons and sisters and daughters they are individuals that are hurting that's the reason somebody would troll someone else is because they're angry and they're hurting and they want to feel better about themselves and when I was a kid I was 10 my dad had me write a book report on the Celestine prophecies I didn't get most of it and the only thing that I remember was a part that said the reason people tear others down is so that they can feel better about themselves and that always stuck with me and as an adult I see that now with trolling and understand that the reason somebody would tear somebody else down is so that they feel better about themselves and if they need to feel better about themselves it's because they don't feel good about themselves right now and rather than ignoring this problem, I would like to talk to the trolls. I know this is risky because I do not know what you are all gonna do as a group. You're unpredictable and very smart and very savvy. And you and I were both people struggling with the same thing of trying to deal with this life that we live in and how do we navigate it and how do we feel better about ourselves and how do we express ourselves and we've just chosen to go about it by two separate ways but I want you to know that you are heard and I am sorry that you are in pain I'm sorry that you are angry and I don't want you to think that you are alone and that you aren't worthy. I don't think that you're losers. Um, I think you're sad. And you just might not know how to talk about that. So this is me opening myself up and saying to the young man who did troll me and told me that uh, I deserved breast cancer because of my slutty tits <laughs> that I forgive you I don't hold any ill will towards you so go out there everyone and love a troll love them
because the circle of anger and hatred is not going to end this cycle. And the only way for us to get off this merry-go-round is to try something different. And so I say, let's try loving them instead.